Hey everybody, it's Ozone and... Eagle Eye 5. Uh, in the last episode, we came down here to the middle island in the Dig Dog Suspension Bridge, and there's some ruins here that we found a nice chest up on top of. We were following the Penn's quest for the Beckoning Woman, and found like found that that was a, a Yiga trap. But uh, there's still, I think, some ruins up ahead. So I think we should continue on down the road and see what we have up ahead in the ruins. You know what? We should probably also call Coco and utilize that. Utilize her. I think there's more ruins. But yeah, there, there's a gumball machine over there. That's right. Yes. We spoke to this guy. He recognized us from... What, Hatip Kakariko? Hi. Good morning. Oh. What an unusual relic. And look, there's something inside. He sounds bored. Yeah. I believe this device is meant for some special purpose. But as for what may be, what that may be, who knows? Oh. Similar devices have been found in Kakariko Village to the east and Terrytown to the northeast. I want to unlock this gizmo's secrets before the researchers in those other places do. I must. Hmm. I don't know. He looks very timid, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, he does. Well, watch and learn, buddy. Watch and learn. Nope. We need... Not Zonite. Not... It's not crystal. Well, I guess we do have the large charges, right? What is this sorted by? Let's sort by the, the right thing here. Because <clears throat> I don't know that we want to use the large charges on it. We want to just use the regular... And what kind of thing are we going to get? <laughs> I see some bouncies, stakes, pots, wheels, a battery. Oh, yeah, that battery looks... is good. Yeah. But I want more rockets. I need to go back and find yeah, where we, where we, we got the rockets. Yeah, we definitely need more rockets. It seems like we just never have enough. No. All right, well, let's talk to this guy again, and did he see? You did it. You got it to work. How did you... Wait, don't tell me. Let me figure it out. Mm. So, if you put something on that dish, it gets sucked in. All right, well, I guess you're working it out, huh, buddy? And I, I feel like that's something. Yes, I agree. <laughs> that's definitely a, a cave-like thing. Yeah. If it's whether it's truly an official cave or not. Say, so let's go on down and check out the camp here. Okay. So that that's the ruins that fell. That's part mm -hmm. of a sky island. Very interesting. I feel like we're gonna have a yep a quest. Ooh. Hey. Oh. oh. Sorry if I seem disappointed. I just thought our friends might have returned. Oh. I got separated from three of our friends on the road in Gerudo Canyon. One of them has come back, but the other two are still out there somewhere. The longer they're gone, the more worried I get. What if they're lost or hurt? Oh. They're experienced travelers. I'm sure they'll be fine. They probably stopped to rest in a cave or under some shade along the road, since the canyon gets so hot during the day. Not to say that they'll travel faster at night. If it gets so cold, they might have they might start might have to start a fire to keep from freezing. So remember the dude? We splashed him with a splash fruit, and he left, and that's where we got the uh, shrine gem. That we loaded up on the four-wheeler and went mm -hmm. up it through the canyon. That was the one that returned. Mm hmm Okay. <clears throat> so there's two more out there then. Okay. Hmm. But they'll be back in due time. We just have to be patient. 
I hope you're right. All right. Well, there was a quest associated with helping that guy out besides the shrine quest, and we didn't even know it. Hey there, I was hoping to see you again sooner or later. Oh. You're the only reason I made it out of Gerudo Canyon alive. All right, so that's the guy. I think my lucky stars for you and that refreshing splash fruit. Really, you saved my skin. Anywho, Aww. I see Botrick and Gat Gat Garrel ha still haven't come back. It's raining again. Ugh. Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I did. <laughs> it's your turn. <laughs> Botrick may be a bodyguard by vocation, but he's a timid sort. I bet you he's hiding out in a cave somewhere. As for Gerald, he's a romantic at heart. He might have gone someplace up high to get a good view of the canyon. Then again, Gerald's a seasoned traveler. He would have known not to stray far from the road. Anyway, I worry for both of those guys. Okay, so that's our hints about where they might have gone. I don't really see anything more. I mean, we could certainly get up there. Up high, but not far from the road. Yeah. Oh, does that guy have a quest? I, Probably not a quest, of, but maybe a hint. He had a bubble. And then we got a Gerudo at the gate that may or may not... Ah, oh, this rain is nice. Right. No, no, it's not. I don't like the rain. <laughs> um, I'm kicking. guessing the Gerudo isn't going to let us let people pass or something. I don't know. I don't know. And then we got somebody over there. Well, should we go talk to more people or travel yes. on up? No, go, go talk All to right. more people. Let's go talk to the dude under the canopy. Oh. Want a shelter from the rain? There's room for you here. Hey, wait, are you headed to the Gerudo Canyon too? If you are, just know the guard up ahead will give you a test. Hmm, what kind of ah. test? That's right, all the questions are about how to deal with hot and cold weather. Oh, easy. But no matter how many times I try, I can't seem to pass. I thought I at least had the basics down, splashing yourself with water to cool down, stuff like that. Mm. Which reminds me, did you know that there's no rain in Gerudo Canyon? Did not. How can you splash yourself with water when there's no water? It boggles and bends the mind. All right. So, yeah, she looked like she was standing guard. <laughs> oh. There has been some abnormal weather beyond this point. Blazing heat during the day, freezing cold at night. It's dangerous to be in the area, though you can take some precautions to prepare yourself. To that end, I'm going to ask you a few questions to make sure you can handle yourself. If you aren't able to hand answer my questions, I will not let you pass. Hmm? Well, yep. ready? Yeah, let's go. Ooh. Okay, then let's get started. Question number one. How can you best warm up when it's cold? Stay near the fire. Correct. But the first question is the easiest one. Oh. The second question is a bit more difficult, so pay attention. When it's very hot out, where should you go to cool off? A shady spot. Oh. That's exactly right. I'm glad that you appear to have some survival skills. By the way, dousing yourself in water would also be a good way to cool off in the blazing heat. Keep that in mind. Yep. Ooh. Okay, question number three is a very important and more difficult than the last two. What cooking ingredient is effective at fending off high temperatures? Oh, that, yeah. I, I think they're the opposite, aren't they? No, the chill shroom makes things feel, make you feel, gives you heat resistance. I believe it is right. chilly. Ooh. Exactly right. I'm impressed. Many have had trouble with that question. Uh. Last question. Where in Gerudo Canyon could you go to avoid being affected by the extreme temperatures day or night? Into a cave. 
All right, you pass. With so much knowledge at your disposal, I'm sure you'll be fine out there. Woohoo! Oh, and you can take this with you, too. Yay! Ooh. You can cool yourself down temporarily if you split one of those with a weapon and stand in the resulting spray. You may pass, but be careful out there. All right, well, we could probably also have just, you know, gone up the, up and over the thing. Nobody seems surprised. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was just say nobody seems surprised by that, but he was surprised by that. Yes, he was. <laughs> Where is it? They seem like they should be more surprised than they are, though. Oh, stop. Wait, stop. Look right. Uh, huh. Huh. Uh-huh. All right, what uh, do we have in here? I don't see anything off your hand. It's warming up. Yeah, I don't really see anything. Can't descend up there. Interesting. Yeah, I would have expected a chest. What? I was gonna say, can you <laughs> climb up on the hill a little bit to ascend? But I guess going up. This is where how you're supposed to do it, I think. And then we can see inside, and there's a chest in there. Yes. So, and it's raining again. It was like clear for a moment. Mm -hmm. I am wearing my froggy gear. Okay. Yeah, you just have to climb slow. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Ah! Okay, and not go upside down. Yeah. <laughs> hey, and it's clear again. Woohoo! Okay, so is there a way to get in from the top? Doesn't seem to be. Can you go down around the side? The end side. Not inside, end side. Interesting. Yes. Well, sort, sort of. of. Hmm. Gotta try the other end side. Ascend up. Huck. Huck. So I know I had a spot where I could ascend. There we go. I'm not sure the other end has a spot, but I didn't. We didn't go all the way down and check, did we? Nope, we didn't. What is that? Leaves. Yeah. Nope, it is blocked off too. Interesting. All right, Al, you're gonna have to try and go back in the other way and ascend. There has to be a way. I say get up on that hill and try and ascend from that hill. Any other holes or? Nope, just go back down that front way. I, I, yeah. I was just looking around. I don't know that you can. Let's see if I can ultra hand anything. 
I don't see anything that I can ultra hand. All this rubble around here, and I can't pick any of it up. <laughs> it's a little silly. Yeah. Okay, so can I ascend from this? No, I can't. Oh, what about standing on these? No. I'm like these ledges. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Well, there is obviously a way. Obviously there is. We just have to figure it out. So, if there were boxes around, or things... Yep. To, with which to build, maybe? Yep. Stay. Perfect. Stay put. <laughs> Somebody's scared. Okay, well oh. that sh that'll be at least good enough. I think you can get a lot more if you do it vertically instead of horizontally. Uh, well, I was going to turn it this way. But is that not what you meant? Yeah, but how are you going to stand on top of that? Well, I've got to put another board on top of it. Yeah. And I missed. So, let's see. What do we got? We got one more board. The other thing we could do is we could take the four of these and, um, like, make a table. Yeah, you should be afraid there. Yeah, you could lady. just move. Obviously, somebody's working here. So the question is, are you going to be able to get that through that little hole? Probably not. You're you're probably right. It probably won't go. But let's take it all up there and decide. Ah. I thought that was a lady, but it's the guy that was here. Mm -hmm. All right. Where am I? Ready just in case it fell down. Get out of my way, everybody. We got a job to do. No, thought for sure we'd squish the, the poor guy <laughs> by the way that death screen came out. <laughs> Why don't you just leave it here for now until you know for sure if you need it? Uh, well, I'm... It's already there, you know. Okay, so let's see. Right here. All right. 
that's easy enough. So let's... Perfect. Perfect, right. Okay. So let's see if this is enough to ascend. It seems like it is if we're in the right place, but we're not in the right place. So the right place is right above us. Just, I guess that's just, just a little over. We need to be more like right here. Perfect. <laughs> Climb it from the inside. Jiminy Christmas. I know. Camera angle is a bit wild. <laughs> I mean... Look it... down at the floor. You can tell by sound whether yeah. you've got it good. Huh. Well... I mean, it's not good, clearly, but at the same time, it feels like we're in the right place. So get some more height. And I... Uh, yeah. But that is not... Oops. That is not really gonna... work well on top of that platform. I think it will. I mean... I think you'll need to rip the top part off of the base and put it on better. Center it more. Yeah, it's definitely janky. But if I push it up against that wall, it's uh, okay. resting up against that wall. Well enough, anyway. Well enough. There, there you go. go. Oh, finally. Yay! We got Yay. a chest. How do we get out of here? I guess we you just ascend up out. again. Okay. Come on, open. Says me. Steering, Steering sticks. sticks. Very hey, nice. Good. Yeah. Wait, double chip. I, we, what? I Double didn't... check around here for anything else. <laughs> Any other secrets? I wouldn't put it past him to put something else in here for people who are solely focused on the chest, is what I'm saying. Uh, well, we're freezing cold. Yeah. Uh, I don't think there's anything else here. Okay. That's fine. I just, like I said, I wouldn't put it past him <laughs> to... <laughs> You're not wrong. But we don't know what the devs are going to do. Well, for being ruins, they haven't been that interesting. I mean, yes, we got some... Some thing. You know, we got a, got a chest, but... Well, we haven't gone to the other side of the ruins yet, either. I suppose that's true. I mean... And there, it looks like there's ruin up on top of the other thing. There's a bloopy. Yeah, stop, look up. There's that whole thing up there, too. Hmm. That whole big piece that could be, you know. Yeah. What is that? Is that? That's the walls of the Great Plateau, isn't it? Back beyond that. I don't know what that is. Yeah, that's the walls of the Great Plateau. But you are right. It looks like there's a tunnel that can be uh, entered into there. Let's let's poke around this ruin first. Okay. Now that I've already flown off and started toward that way. This one looks like it's tilted 90 degrees and I don't really think there's much of anything. We're both tilting our head to the <laughs> side here as we're trying to look around the corner. <laughs> but I'm not seeing anything that looks like an entrance on these guys. 
it would it would be on this face that's like going straight up and it's there's no entrance there This is tilted at such an odd angle that I don't think we can really ascend. Oh. There you go. I don't think this is going to do anything, I mean... Important. Yeah, yeah. It's going to get us to, like, the next layer is what I was going to say, but... It's not going to get us to a secret room, anyway. Yeah. Hmm. What do we have along here? Not really seeing anything. Maybe up there? Maybe. No, that's... That's... solid. Um, oh! Alright, Tulin. Say, what is that? Do a thing, Tulin. Come on. I got four helpers Use here. Your... And there, there we go. There you go. And it was Tulin, I think. No, it wasn't. It was, um... Yunobo? Yunobo. Okay. I just don't understand why it takes four helpers. Hey, Twenty minutes. Yeah, to <laughs> pop a choo-choo, Joey, -choo <laughs> which has one pop help. Pop a nicey point. balloon. Right. <laughs> so if this thing has anything, it's going to be at the top. No, it doesn't really seem like there's anything. Oh, well. Oh. There's hot mess. Oh, is that our favorite <laughs> hot mess? Yeah. And there's... The bloopy? There's the bloopy. And there's nothing on this outside face. So... Go let's, for the bloopy. Yeah, let's go for the bloopy. Ah! Ooh! Ooh. That, was, that was good. I guess you get more from the closer you hit it. No, that was one of those um, bows that shoots three arrows. Oh. And I was so close that it hit it with all three. Okay. But we got some mobs. Yes, we do. Do you oh, want to use that same bow? Sure. Stalry Plateau Cave. Well, it certainly looks like... Oh, oh, that's one of our people. That's one of the peoples. The one that they Help, said... Help! Losers! Big losers! Wait, I just came in that door. <laughs> oh. All right. <laughs> Come on. Aw, uh, Riju didn't do all that much. Well, I don't think you actually hit any of it. <laughs> there was only one. Get your other fire break. I'm trying. <laughs> Camera angles. Um, yeah. What the that's that's a bunch of um, tumbleweeds. Tumbleweeds. Interesting. All right. They do burn for a while it seems <laughs> yeah they do wow you're strong you you might think i'm hopeless coward and you wouldn't be entirely wrong but i'm also a bodyguard 
I was traveling with my friends, but we got separated. Then I saw those monsters, and I completely froze up. <laughs> Don't tell anyone, okay? Oh. I better get going. My friends will surely feel safer with the fearless bodyguard by their side. <laughs> See ya. See ya. Hey, big I wouldn't poser. want to be you. <laughs> what? Uh oh. Now what do we Boopy got? Boopy or uh, bubble frog. Bubble frog. <laughs> My arrow caught fire because I shot it through the <laughs> through the fire. Oh, oh, there's something in there. You need to crouch. Yeah. There's nothing in here but a rusty shield. There was an ore POI in here, but I think that's you know through the through okay. the battle. Uncrouch. <laughs> Somewhere through the battle, it got broken. Oakley dokley. For one little piece of amber. There what was you looking at? Another piece over here. Ah, a piece of. Oh! oh. oh. oh I think we could probably make room with that. Yeah. Yeah. Got a couple of these bad boys. <laughs> Much better. And then okay. charred pepper. About face. <clears throat> About face. Look up. There you go. Ah. Uh, okay, I don't think I can get Yonobo to go up there. <laughs> Probably not. So I got a, uh, let's see. Okay, well, I think that's everything that we can do in this here cave. Yeah, oh, I thought. Oh, there's the other. There's another bloopy over there. There's another bloopy over there. We're just finding all kinds of caves. That's right. That's right. Well, we got Addison here. You have my support. You will have the support when we come back in the next episode. Oh, <laughs> gotcha! Oh, <laughs> you're awful. Oh, I know, I know. I like, <laughs> I like teasing you sometimes with that. Oh. We're spring it on you from out of the blue. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, remember, be excellent to each other. We're out. <laughs>